jump into this. So the first point is uh, 3 comma negative 2 comma 1. And when we graph this, what we want to do is, first of all, is we want to set up our, our coordinate axis system. So we've got our z-axis, which actually goes vertically like this, our y-axis, which goes horizontally, and this x-axis here, you can see it's what it's designed to do. I see I've kind of drawn it sort of like on a 45. It's supposed to look like it's coming, you know, out of the paper, out of this two-dimensional board, out at at us, right? And one way to think about this is as a right-hand rule. If you take your right hand and you put your fingers in the direction of the positive x-axis, this is the axis that's coming out of the board, okay, out of the paper towards us, and you take your, your fingers and you curl them the way that they normally would curl. So what they're doing is they're curling towards the positive y-axis, that's just going to the right, and what happens is our thumb points in the positive z-axis. So when you're going up, this is positive. So you take that right hand, you curl it the way it normally curls, that's your positive z-axis. This is our positive y, negative y. Going backwards, okay, into the board, that's our negative x. And then going down is negative z. So let's go ahead and uh, plot these points. So a is 3, negative 2, 1. And remember, this is alphabetical, x comma y comma z. So 3, we're going to go 3 in the positive x direction. Now, some tips. I'm going to mark up my, uh, my axes. I'm going to draw these lines. But notice how I'm drawing them. See how I'm drawing these marks? I'm drawing them parallel to the y-axis, okay? So it kind of gives you that, that 3D effect. So we're going uh, 3, and then what we're going to do is we're going to go 2 in the y direction. So that's going to be uh, negative 2, so I'm going to go 2 in the negative y direction. So that's going to be like this. So that's going to be, uh, let's see, how can we draw this? We're going to go 1, 2. Now notice, how did I draw these lines? I drew them parallel to the, the x-axis, okay? And so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to draw like a... Um, parallelogram, but basically see how I'm drawing this like this. You can draw this dashed or dotted, but what I did is I tried to draw these lines parallel to the, you know, to the other axis so that it gives you that, you know, that flat like you're looking at it on 3D. And then over here we've got the z-axis which is 1, so we're going up 1, okay, on our z-axis like this. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to, um, I'm going to draw this like as a, a box essentially. So what I'm doing is I'm going like this. I'm going up one here. Again, I'm drawing a box like this, and I'm always drawing C parallel. Okay, so something like, like this, like that. And you can do a little bit better. You can practice as you do this. But what this does is you can see this box. You can see it's kind of like coming you know, out at us, and you can see that it's elevated above this uh, XY plane. It's going up one. So this is our point A. 